Welcome everyone. So happy to have you here with me today for the first episode of my first show. And um, today I'm so happy to have Lisa Fair with me. It just feels like such an honor. And uh, yeah, thank you for coming, Lisa. <laughs> yeah, it's my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> and it was beautiful because um, before the show started, I was just getting a little bit nervous and I said to Lisa can we join like okay I want to be clear on the theme and and my mind was starting to go into preparing a little bit and yeah I could feel like the nervousness was coming up and what I was actually doing was trying to plan and try to be prepared so that I wouldn't be in that uncomfortable situation and Lisa goes we're just gonna have fun don't take it so seriously so with that we wiped our whole um planning or any ideas of how this is going to look and we just said let's come on here and and have fun and yeah. see what happens so we're waiting to see what the spirit brings to in the yeah. next half hour like I feel excited I feel you know I've been sitting in the audience here and it just feels so beautiful because I see all my friends uh seeing all these people and yeah it's like a family reunion every Sunday it's like I get to sit here every Sunday with my family of God, our extended family of God. So it feels so beautiful to see everybody. Yeah. Jeff, I want to say hi, Jeff. These are like the old days. Yeah. It's beautiful. And Patrick, <laughs> we could go through. <laughs> beautiful. Yeah, it's so beautiful to see so many of you here today. I, on the first show, I was like, wow, look, look how much support has come in just for everybody taking their steps with getting into this extension vibe. So, yeah, just seeing the support, I, it's like the spirits behind this, you know, just, just trust the inspiration and follow it. So it feels, it feels great. And I think the reason I invited Lisa onto the show today was because like, I just love spending time with Lisa. I love going for lunch with her. I love just joining with her because I feel when I'm with her, I, I just get very happy. Like I come into this experience and every time we're together, she just wants to talk about God and, and she shares her parables of healing. And I just feel something in my mind just lifts up and is so inspired. And, and it's like, it's something and that sustains me like it's the spirit it's not really a relationship between people it's a given relationship by the holy spirit and in that it's so inspiring so it just felt beautiful to have her here today with me so that i want to continue the intimate experience we have when we're on our own but then share that with all of you so mm. yeah well i guess i feel just so honored to be here because you know, uh, we're living in this experience. I'm living in this unbelievable experience and it's a state of mind. It's, it's miraculous. And I feel, you know, like all the promises of Jesus have been given to me and I didn't even know what they were. It feels like this ever new thing that's happening every day, even this set, even this everything. It's so alive and new. And so I feel like, yeah, I just feel honored to be able to talk about, you know, the gift of the mind training and learning to develop that relationship with the Holy Spirit and yeah, you know, just how powerful our mind is, you know, that we have, we have this power of decision and yeah, I just feel so honored by God just to be able to extend that gift with everyone that there's a whole new way of living that really is a joyous way of living. I was just listening to David before we, I guess, during the intermission, but it was all about the joy that a life like, like how, do, you know, how does the teacher of God spend his day? There are no plans and we can't plan. And I, don't, I feel like I can't even plan a show or whatever that is. I feel like it's being shown to me in this beautiful wonderment. And I just feel so grateful to be able to share with everyone that there is a real experience, a real experience of God that's real. And, and it, you're just so totally, it's like you're worthy of this total devotion. And everyone joining here, I've been watching you, like I don't know how many people are here, but what a wonderful way hey to spend you know we're having a good time you know like we're loving it and 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 that we're all together in this 
So it feels so beautiful to share this. Yeah, and, and just what I saw this morning as well was, you know, the mind can just get lost in what, what do I need to do in form? Like, and like I was talking about that preparing, but really the most important thing is the relationship. And, you know, with Lisa, I was just being with her, <coughs> being with her and feeling like the love and feeling the connection, which is truly the connection with the spirit. It's like in that every to keep coming back to that. And that's where, I don't start to feel personally responsible for how things mm. run. It's like, no, are we in love? And if that's at the core, then everything will flow. You're, you're at ease in that. You're relaxed in that. So. Mm. Well, and it's not running away from anything either. That's what we were talking about, this expansion. I mean, uh, our mind is meant to expand like a flower. And as we're expanding, all these doubts and fears and unworthiness come up as we're stepping out of our comfort zone. And this is a natural purification. And it's learning to be able to look at those thoughts, not trying to push over them. We were talking about that too. It's not about pushing over them and trying to overcome these thoughts of fear and doubt. It's about really getting honest and saying, I want to get really present with whatever this disturbance is and face it with the Holy Spirit and forgive it and look at it and be willing to see it differently. And so it's like this, that's, that's the gift of being in this community is there's no stagnation. Being with David, <laughs> I can tell you right now, you know, it's a life of continual expansion, actually. And I remember I used to hate that. I, I didn't like it. I thought I wanted to control my world. I wanted everything to stay the same. I wanted to stay in my comfort zone. I remember, actually, I remember when I was living in my house and I remember where you were calling me out of the world, calling me to come and do this, you know, to live in community with you actually. And I remember being in my living room and just being totally what I knew. And I remember how dead it felt too. And I thought, wow, I'm just like attached to this house. I'm looking at how I'm just so attached, but I was not alive and vibrant, but I, it was like I was holding on to it, what I knew, everything that I knew. And so it's like this. And so stepping out of that was huge for me. I'd lived in my house for 20 years. Uh, you know, I was a mother and, and like just totally identified with that whole world. And to step out of that was really this terror. And, and the real prayer with God, you know, I wanted to shine and I wanted to extend and I wanted... I wanted the gifts of the spirit and, and I just feel this gift in just even our relationship. It feels like this relationship with David has just been such a gift from God. And, and then the gift is I get to share that with everyone else. Like my own healing is extended, you know, knowing what I've walked through, you know, all the thoughts of fear and doubt and control and pride and all kinds of things that, you know, I feel like I'm on the other side of that bridge now, and I just feel so honored. I just can't even tell everyone, actually. It's very deep because I feel that, you know, this state of mind of knowing that we're one with God is our natural state. And that, and you will have to go through the darkness to get to that. And so these opportunities in this community right now, it seems to be these, these shows, which is the most wonderful gift. You know, everybody stepping up and, and saying, I'm going to face this fear, I'm going to face this doubt, or I'm going to face it, and I'm going to, you know, heal my mind. And that's the only purpose of all of this, is to heal our mind. And so there's this, I just see it as this continual expansion and opening, you know, to, to love. And again, we're washing away all that. And it's actually a miracle from God that, you know, our community is just, that's the sole foundation of this community is healing the mind. And so this isn't even about this show. It's everybody saying, I'm going to step up because every one of us want to experience the joy and every one of us want to shine our light. You know, we're not going to be satisfied by playing small and little. You know, the only thing that's going to satisfy us is by really being able to be used 
by the spirit. And we don't even know what that is. I feel like every day of my life, like my day is so full. I can't even tell you at the end of the day, I, uh, it's a miracle. I'm meeting with people all day long. You know, I'm, I'm joining with talking about God all day long. It's my greatest joy to talk about this, you know, the, the miracle and, and yeah, just all these relationships. Uh, we're going to be doing a retreat on relationships. I think in what's the month, April, April, April. Of April. And, and I'm actually so excited to talk about that because, you know, every one of us in this community, and I even see it in this extension with the out the virtual it's, you know, we're all joining in a relationship in like Kirsten said, the relationship with God, but we're able to come together and join in the prayer, you know, and I just feel the gift for myself with these relationships, looking at my own projections, what was going on in my mind in these relationships that I needed to, my brother is the mirror of my own mind. And so I get to use my brother in a way in my relationship with God to see what the blocks to the awareness of love's presence is in myself. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like, you know, this community is just, yeah, it's all about the relationships, mm -hmm. you know, it's continually joining and continually healing and yeah, just such a beautiful gift actually. Yeah. When, when we were joining the other day, you shared with me that um, somebody had mentioned to you, wow, just watching everything you do in a day, like it feels like there's, um, like you're, there's a lot going on. Mm. And, and you said to me, in that moment you had the experience of me like the body seems to be very active and mm. and doing a lot of things but you were feeling so at rest in that mm. and so peaceful I was wondering if you could share a bit more about that well it's kind of how my day like every morning I just pray what is your will for me really I don't even do it you know verbally anymore it's like my heart is just wide open I don't have a plan for my day and then I feel like it's being shown to me and I just kind of walk into it all day long. I'm walking into it. Oh, I'm going here. Oh, the phone calls over there. Oh, I'm supposed to go over there. Or I'm supposed to meet this one or however that is. And it's, it's my joy. I'm in the vibe. It feels like another thing is doing it. It's not me doing anything. It's like this light actually is coming through me as I'm joining with everyone and everything, no matter if it's even scrubbing the floor. Okay. If that's the thing that's being given to me, it's like following the guidance all day long and having this unbelievable amount of energy. And at the end of the day, I feel like a, a farm girl. Like I, I say it's farm girl days. I get to bed and it's like, <sighs> you know, like, I'm, <laughs> you know, thank you, Jesus. And then I wake up in the morning, like, okay, here we go again. You know, like, like my life truly is not my own. And you know, that used to terrify me because I wanted my life to be my own. And I thought that I knew what was best for my life. And I have no idea. We have no idea, you know, what is best for our lives, but it's like this alignment with the will of God. And I feel totally like I say yes to the will of God. And I don't know what that looks like, but each day I'm renewed and refreshed and, and just, alive i feel alive and new and and this it this is a living experience so i feel like oh i just feel excited for the next thing even the show or you know, it's like yeah we just went to see uh we i think somebody was talking about frank who's moving down here uh yesterday or the day before i'm not sure we went to go see his house and i realized i was so excited to go see this house and i'm running around this house and i just realized you know i actually don't own anything I'm not even buying the house. <laughs> it has nothing. I don't know. I have no ownership, you know, to really be in that experience of absolutely no ownership. My name is on nothing. I have nothing but this joy in my heart and my relationship with God and that I get to watch and be in the zeal of this wonderment. That's what it feels like. This unbelievable wonderment that, that like a child, you know, I can't really put words to it, what that feeling is, but it feels like I am just totally being done through. And actually, you know, I started where everybody else did here in this community, scrubbing 
the floors and doing all the things like Kirsten was talking about this volunteer program because it's not about me doing it. It was really the prayer to look again at all those obstacles as I was doing it. Like there's this beautiful parable that I, I always like to tell. It's about you, David. When I was, uh, when I was at the peace house and I was coming in and I was feeling all this like resistance to following because I, I wasn't always willing it's for sure. Uh, I wasn't always just like happy to do it, but I remember being at the peace house and I gone over to Charles house for a while and you called me up and you said, or I was supposed to clean. It was on my list of things. And you, you called me up and you said, are you coming over to clean today? You were looking at what I was doing. And I said, no, I'm not actually feeling it. <laughs> I said, no, yeah, I'm not doing that. And he said, yeah, I, I'm feeling you're probably supposed to come over here and clean the house today. And I said, no, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to sit back and relax today. And he's like, no, I really just feel it's pretty good for you to come over here and clean the house. <laughs> well, I remember walking over to the house and I'm thinking, screw this shit. You know, like, why doesn't he clean his own damn house? <laughs> You know, why is it, you know, you know, I was having all these attack thoughts, right? And, and I went over there and Dave was like, yay, you're here and, and you're going to clean the house. And I thought, screw, I'm having all these thoughts. It's all these thoughts were going to matter. I'm like, screw you. You clean your own damn house. He isn't going to be grateful. I remember just having all these attack thoughts. And then David says, bye, I'll see you in a couple hours. And he walks out the door. I thought, that son of a bitch. <laughs> You know, yeah, I guess it's pretty nice. I guess he is happy, I thought in my mind. You know, and I'm like there with like the bucket and the rags and, and all the stuff and I'm there and I'm in the middle of the kitchen and I thought, oh, I need a miracle, man. I really need a miracle because there is no way that I am going to be able to clean this house with all these. Right? I said, Holy Spirit, I said, okay. You're going to have to do this through me because I am not willing right now. I'm absolutely not willing to do this. And uh, it was so powerful because all of a sudden I said, Holy Spirit, I'm going to invite you into this. Oh, let's clean this house together. And um, it was like almost like my mind just linked in with the spirit. And all of a sudden I heard that like all the thoughts like the thoughts came up. Why doesn't he clean his own house? I'm going to hand that to you to Holy Spirit. Why doesn't, you know, why, like the victim thoughts, why am I stuck cleaning the house? You know, whatever the thoughts were, I was doing this mystical kind of thing. Like I'm going to hand that to you. And all of a sudden I heard all you give, you give unto yourself. Let me give everything through you for you. And it was this, Unbelief, it was like light just started pouring through me. It was like I was in all of a sudden, it was like I was in the swoosh. I was in this massive cleaning, like cleaning in this joy, like, oh my word, this has nothing to do with cleaning this house. It was about cleaning my mind and extending whatever this light was in me. And yeah, and it was so funny because I was so joyful. It took me like three hours and I had these thoughts before I thought, well, David's never going to say thank you anyhow or anything, you know, and, and it was so beautiful because I was so elated and I got done with the house and I had the buckets and stuff and I was running back and I opened up the door and I go out and I make a left and I had, was heading out the walkway and uh, all of a sudden I hear, and I'm in all this joy, thank you. <laughs> And I turn around and it's David back in the back. I'm like, David, oh my God, I love you. And he was like, I love you too. I'm like, oh my God, this is a miracle. And uh, yeah, so I always love that one because I was so resistant. And how healing that was that it wasn't about the cleaning. It wasn't about any of it. It was about just what I needed to look at in my own mind. So there's, it's, so it's like everything is part of this grand plan when we're using it all to heal our mind. And that's really what our ministry is all about. It's like everything is a backdrop. And so those, that was like 10 years ago. 
And now I don't know. It's like, I don't have like those thoughts aren't there anymore. It just, mm. yeah. Oh, thank you. These are the stories I love. I just, right. I'm just so inspired by them, like the miracle on the other mm. side. And I know like when, you talk a lot about it's really just thoughts like they're just thoughts in your mind mm. it's not a real thing happening and there's something so empowering in that and mm. so yeah thank you mm -hmm. I see Ricky and uh, Kirsten up there Hi, I feel like I want to go hug all of you. <laughs> all the smiling faces. Yeah, and I just I'm hearing in what you're saying as well, Lisa, like just the importance of following the guidance. Like you don't necessarily always feel it in the moment because mm. you know, the, but the spirit knows what needs to be washed mm. in the mind, and it's like trusting, like trusting the your devoted brothers who walk before you. And I don't know if you mm. have anything else to to share around that, but just the importance of like really just linking up with the guidance and. And going well, you know, in, in the community, I mean, every day it's like the guidance is given, you know, and it isn't, you're not always in the yes. <laughs> it isn't like, oh, yeah, that's great. I'll do that. You know, it's like the whole reason that we're coming together, like I said, is to heal the mind. So it's like, and then like, even like this show or whatever, it's like pushing. It's like, I'm going to say yes to it and then be able to get present with whatever the obstacle is from experiencing that joy, mm -hmm. getting very, very present, looking at your judgments, looking at whatever it is that's coming up in the mind, but the guidance is given, you know, because we all have the same purpose, mm -hmm. which is healing the mind. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And we don't always know what our own blocks are. It's like that's right. why coming together with mighty companions and, and praying together and, and hearing that guidance together. Right. Me, well, because I mean, even like, even for this show, it was funny because Emily sent me last week. She said, uh, I have all these different titles for the show, for our show, <laughs> right? And she put Lisa and Emily, interviewing a mystic. Whatever it was, it was like 10 different things. And I looked and I thought, hold up, this isn't my show. <laughs> <laughs> this is your show. <laughs> and she's like, oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> she's like, like almost like not, fully accepting it. it's like because yeah. of the fear or whatever yeah it was like in some ways that was like a gentle step in oh lisa and i are going to do a show and i'm going to be more in a support role with it and it's like my mind could accept that as a first step and then it was like no this is actually your show and i had to fully take that on and and i could feel like with that like more layers of fear coming up but mm. it's it's like all for me all for the expansion of my mind walking mm. walking past that and saying well this is what's felt. This is the guidance. I can trust that. I can trust that beyond, even if there's some fear coming up. So. Mm, it's beautiful. Really beautiful. Well, we could even open it up for any questions. Would yeah, you feel open to that, Lisa? Yeah, I'm open. If anybody in our audience would like to, to ask a question, you can just raise your hand digitally or physically. <laughs> Carolina. Carolina. You got a question? She she unmuted? Just unmute. I'm not supposed to do that. We just need to unmute Carolina. Okay, there we go. Go ahead, Carolina. Hi. Hi. Uh, I, it was very spontaneous. I'm not sure what I want to ask about, but uh, I, think, I think Davy remembers from the last online retreat that I was quite afraid of speaking, of speaking up 
of showing myself and mm. and I'm not that much afraid now, but still I want to work through this because this is just ridiculous. I mean, <laughs> yeah, like like David, I was very shy all my life, and mm. and I and I am so freaking tired of this, and I am quite quite new to all this, but. Um, this is so very intense. What is happening to me? It's so very unbelievably in intense. And I feel everything is, I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> mm. I, have not, I have no idea what's going on with me anymore. And as I volunteered to translate Kirsten's book, recently uh, I've written to to Anne an email that was quite fishy quite disturbing for for me even uh, and I was then afraid of her reaction because I still don't know her reaction and what I want to say is that I have no idea what am I supposed to do with anything. I I would like to know. <laughs> I would I would like to know what spirit wants me to do because I want to feel this joy and I sometimes feel this joy. I mm. sometimes feel this 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 mystical experiences of, of expansion of awareness of dreaming and I know I want that above all else. I I don't want to play around with 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 something point pointless here i i am willing to do anything that 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 i should do but but i don't know what <laughs> I, mm. I i know that whatever i'm i'm supposed to do in the forum it's about mind cleaning but but then you know i'm sitting here and wondering what where should i go what should I do? Should I join with you or or or, or what? Uh, because I I don't have any job. I don't have. You know, I don't have any personal things. The only thing I own is a horse. But even even the horse is perfectly taken care of without my without my you know help or or whatever and. I don't want to own anything. I I don't want to, you know, I don't want to even own this body. <laughs> I I want to do what you do, be this joy, be this light. Mm, it's beautiful. Mm. Thank you, Carolina. Thank you. Yeah, I think it's um it's beautiful because it feels like perfect timing because with us starting these online shows every Sunday and having online retreats every weekend. There's lots of ways for you even to link in with us virtually. Mm -hmm. And also what just came into my mind when you were sharing was, you know, I don't know if you saw Anne's show earlier, but there's so many ways to even link in and volunteer remotely. And mm -hmm. in that, you know, you start to form relationships with people in the community. It's not really about doing anything in form, but it's like you, you have a link, you have somebody to join with in purpose and, and in function. And that can just be very strengthening for the mind. And also mm -hmm. can just, you know, you start to feel more connected in that. And, and then there, you know, we have a mystery school as well next September, we have strawberry fields music festival. So I just feel there's this array of ways that you can link in with us and and I feel your heart I did I, I saw you speak at the online retreat last month as well mm. and um, everybody just felt you so deeply and just mm. when you shared your experience and your writing that um yeah I feel some emotion with it it's yeah. it was really beautiful so I feel there's a way that you're supposed to to link in with us and maybe just exploring some of those ways that I mentioned, but you're, you're in our hearts. Mm. Thank you. You know, I, I am, I will, uh, I joined the group Wednesdays group, uh, and unwind your mind and it will start this Wednesday. 
Mm. So this is like for me the first step. You know, this is the, the this clarity p- process, this true empathy, and I am I am quite excited because I I want to just get rid of all this absurd mm. fear, absurd doubts, and just go for it and all the way, and not to care about anything and about any duties, obligations. <sighs> No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't want this. Mm. I just, I just want to be what I really am. Mm. And now I am absolutely sure, as I've experienced it, that what I am is definitely not this body and definitely not this world. And mm. so, as you, as you said about strawberry fields and and the mystery school, I, I would absolutely go there, but I don't know how because I need visa. I visa. I'm in Poland, <laughs> on on the other side of the globe, you know, to to go to USA, and you know, I I don't I don't have also this much money, but I I'm not worried about this. I don't want to make a drama out of this, you know. Oh, I don't have the money, I can't go. If if I will be guided there, then I think somehow the money will happen <laughs> and I will somehow appear there or not I but I don't want to you know have this inner struggle that I that I now must you know appear there even though I really I would really totally go there <laughs> totally yeah so thank you <laughs> I think that this is amazing, this virtual reality stuff, this virtual, these virtual <laughs> shows, amazing. You know, I even, you know, I live in community and we were this morning actually sitting around the table watching the first show with Lila and we loved it. I felt like I was here. So it feels like this is such a beautiful gift that we can all come together, you know, without going anywhere. I mean, it's the yeah. next best thing, you know, really, it's yeah. amazing that we can do this and now they're going to be doing this every Sunday. So that's another, I mean, all day long. Mm-hmm. And, and I don't know. And then the online retreats, it's just, there's a lot of opportunities. Yeah. I can feel yeah. your heart. Really beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lisa, Lisa, I want to, I want to thank you. I am so surprised because just a few days ago, I was listening to some video on YouTube without video. It was only the sound. And I, when I heard your voice, I heard your voice, your laughter, your, your you know, boisterous laugh, laughter and, and this just joy and your parables. And I was like, oh my God, who is this woman? I want to know her. I want to know her. <laughs> I want to know her. <laughs> it's beautiful because I can tell you right now, I, you know what? I didn't know anything about God before the course came into my life at all. <laughs> Uh, and all I know is when I read the course, it was about laughter mm. and cause I was, I was a big partier and I loved to drink and do all these things, but it was because I just wanted to have fun. And I feel that I have, you know, I'm in the big party now and it's an authentic <laughs> laughter and it's an authentic joy and, mm. and it's not based on circumstances. And I can hear that that's what you're saying. I want to experience that joy and that laughter yeah that's where it's all at it's all about laughter and joy so that's beautiful thank you i'm with you i'm with you on that thank you thank you thank you you don't realize how i'm Mm. how glad i am i'm so very glad Mm. it's beautiful thank you carly Mm. i'm so happy your hand up and you spoke Mm. <laughs> I am too. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. Okay, thank you. Thank you, everyone. So grateful that you were mm. here with us today. Mm. Yeah, thank you so much. Mm. <laughs>